Happy Wednesday, third grade. I hope you're ready for some fun math today. We are going to do some flashcards because there's a couple on the bottom that I want us to practice to see um, how well you guys do, okay? This is our warm up, then I'm gonna mix them up and then we'll, we'll play it. Okay, so this is the warm up. This is our learning, kind of refreshing our head. Okay, how many inches in a foot? So think of a regular ruler where your dad's foot how many inches in a foot? 12. 12 inches in a foot. How many pecks in a bushel? Remember, think of the chicken. How many pecks in a bushel? Four. Four pecks in a bushel. Remember, a peck is two gallons, and so this would technically be eight gallons. But Okay, so four pecks in a bushel. How many pints in a quart? So a quart is like your big hydro flask, those big hydro flasks. A pint are like those skinny water bottles you get at hot lunch. How many pints in a quart? Two, good job. Okay, how many quarts in a gallon? Quarts in a gallon, so how many of those big hydro flasks could fill up a big milk gallon? Four, four quarts in a gallon, four quarters in a dollar. Quart means four, so that's kind of your trick there. Okay, how many quarts in a peck? Okay, so remember I said a peck is two gallons. Well, there was four quarts in one gallon, so how many quarts would there be in two gallons a peck? Eight, okay, so eight quarts in a peck. All right, so now we're gonna go to time here. How many weeks in a year? How many weeks in a year? So we have our calendar over there. How many weeks would it take to make a whole year? About 52, about 52 weeks. How many years in a century? Cent, what does cent mean? A hundred, good. How many minutes in an hour? Same as seconds in a minute. Minutes in an hour, 60. 60 minutes in an hour. How many days in a year? 365, a leap year would be 366. Regular year, 365. And how many years in a decade? Dec, 10. That's right, years in decade 10. Okay, so that was our warm up. Now we're gonna try to go a little faster, okay? Okay, I'm gonna keep it the same order right now, then I'll mix it up on the second round. Okay, how many inches in a foot? 12. How many pecks in a bushel? Four. How many pints in a quart? Two two pints in a quart. How many quarts in a gallon? Four. How many quarts, what is it? How many quarts in a peck? Eight, good job. Because a peck is two gallons, and we take eight quarts to make two gallons. Eight quarts in a peck. Okay, this is the time now. Weeks in a year, about 52. Years in a century, 100. Minutes in an hour. 60, are you beating me? Days in a year, 365. Years in a decade, 10. Okay, now mix them up now so it's not gonna have all the measurement and all the time separated. They're gonna all be mixed in. Okay, so this is gonna be a little bit faster round. Here we go. Days in a year, 365. Inches in a foot, 12. Quarts in a peck, eight, that was a tricky one. Eight quarts in a peck. Minutes in an hour, 60. Pints in a quart, two. Quarts in a gallon, four. Weeks in a year, about 52. Years in a century, 100. Pecks in a bushel, four. Years in a decade, 10. Days in a year, 365. Okay, there's gonna be a part at the bottom of our paper today um, that has this on it. So I'm gonna see if you can do it. If not, rewind it to the beginning of the video and you can see the answers, okay? All right, all right. So guys, today we are doing, if you look on the board behind me, you can see I'm sitting because this is a review. There's nothing new today. So it's math, page 215, 216. We're on lesson 17. 
well, lesson 17 with the video, but I know this is technically lesson 119 in our math book, okay? So page 215, 216 is what you wanna have. You wanna have your pencil, and here we go. Okay, all right, so looking at our page, it says more work with multiplying. Yesterday we were doing all that division. Today we're doing a bunch of multiplying, and it is, um, actually two days ago was our division, right? Yesterday we started learning how to multiply a mixed number with a fraction. That's what we're gonna repractice today, okay? So I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. And we're gonna work right from our page. So we're gonna do 1A together, okay? Most of these we're gonna do together today, um, just to kind of give ourselves a little bit of a break, and then tomorrow we'll do some more on our own, okay? Okay, so we're at three-fifths times one and two-thirds. So first I have to find my mixed number. Here it is. So let's change my mixed number. Three times one is three, plus two is five, and I keep my same denominator, five-thirds times three-fifths. Oh, can you tell what we're gonna do here? Cross cancel, we're gonna turn all these to ones because they all match. That's so silly. Okay, so one over one is really one. Okay, that was nice and easy. Okay, let's go to letter B. Find our mixed number, what is it? Here it is. Who can change that in their head? Can anyone do that without writing it out? So what you're thinking in your head is, Five times three, 15, plus one is 16, so 16 thirds. If you can write 16 thirds, you don't have to do all this multiplying. Five times three is 15, 15 plus one, that's how I got my 16, and the denominator stays the same. So try and, that's a good challenge, try to do some in your head. Okay, anything to cross cancel here? Mm -hmm, both, how many threes can go into three? One. Let's cross cancel this way. How many fours can go into four? One, how many fours can go into 16? Four. So then I just do top times top, bottom times bottom. Four times one is four. One times one is one. Four over one is my answer, but technically that means four. So let's say four is my, my, my correct answer there. All right. Let's go down and do a couple of these. So we're gonna, I'm just kind of skipping around. Now you're more than welcome guys to do some extra ones. Um, and I, when I um, talk to you guys at reading groups, we can go over this as well, but um, make sure you're doing all the ones that I'm doing. So you can't skip any of those. You only can, you can skip some of the ones we're not doing, but I need you to do everything that we do together. All right. So on this one, we have a whole number six times three fourths, which I can't do. So I need to make one. I'm gonna make one like that, make a fraction. And this one I can only cross cancel this way because whenever you see a one, we can't make that any smaller. All right, so how many fours can go into six? Hmm. Four, eight, doesn't work. So I'm gonna have to choose something smaller. What could go into four and six? Two will work. How many twos can go into four? Two. How many twos can go into six? Three. So then I just do top times top, bottom times bottom. Three times three is nine. Two times one is two. Now can I leave nine halves? No. So I'm gonna put my nine in the division house, put my two on the outside. How many twos can go into nine? Four. Two times four is eight, subtract I get one. So four and a half is going to be my final answer there. If you had nine halves, um, you wanna throw the nine into the division house, divide by two. Okay, everyone pause, try F by yourself, and then push play and see if you get it right. Okay, here we go. You need to make one, so make sure you did nine over one, times one half, there was no cross canceling here. So if you cross canceled, you shouldn't have. Nine times one is nine, two times one is two. Oh my goodness, you guys, look, nine halves, nine halves. I can just look at that other one and do my same. I don't even have to do it. So 
So four and a half is my answer. Did you get four and a half on both of those? Okay, good job, third grade. All right, let's go down to the, the word problems. These ones are all the same, guys. Okay, I'm gonna take it back. I am gonna have you do a couple. So do these three. Okay, so if you haven't done any, do these three. Try them. That's all you have to do on the front by yourself. Okay, those three. If you want to pause it now, you can, and then we'll start the word problems. Okay, all right, so here we go. 2A, Benjamin and Brittany saw two cute kittens at the pet shop. So cute. The sales lady said they were 56 days old. How many weeks old were the kittens? Okay, so if they're 56 days, they want to know 56 days is the same thing as how many weeks. Well, how many days are in a week, third grade? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. We've got how many? Seven. Seven days are in a week. So how many sevens are there in 56? Eight, very good. All we did on that, guys, was 56 divided by seven equals eight. We kind of did it in our heads, but that was the math that we did to figure it out. All right, let's look at our next word problem. Melissa went to the dentist and found that she had three cavities, yikes, okay, um, to be filled. Oh, it will cost $97.50 for each cavity to be filled what will be the total cost? Okay, so she's got three cavities and every cavity, it says each cavity, costs $97.50 to fill. So if I, here's my tooth, I'm drawing the roots here, it's my other tooth. Every tooth is $97.50, $97.50, $97.50. And they want to know, what's my question? What will be the total cost? How much will it cost to get all those filled? What do you think we have to do, guys? Well, is it going to cost more than $97.50 or less to get them all done? It's going to cost more. So we either going to add or multiply. What do you think we should do? Well, if you said add, you're right. If you said multiply, you're right. We're not adding the same thing or multiplying the same thing, but technically you can get it both ways. So how could I get this by adding? Yeah, just add up 97.50 three times. Okay, that's one way to do it. I'm gonna write that out real fast for those of you who wanted to do it the addition way. Those of you who said multiplying, how could we do that? Yeah. Guys, remember, if you're going to add the same number a bunch of times, you can just multiply by how many 9750s there would be. So how many 9750s? Three. So 9750 times three. Either way is fine. So you guys pick. What do we want to do? I'm going to multiply. I think multiplying is more fun. Here we go. Three times zero is three. Three times five is 15. Carry my one. Three times seven, 21 plus one. 22, three times nine is 27, plus two is 29, so it was 200, oh my goodness, do you see my mistake? $292 and not 53 cents, 50 cents, three times zero is zero. I'm glad I caught that. Guys, I know I'm gonna make mistakes. I think it's because I'm just going too fast. And it's the same kind of things that you guys do. Um, so if you see my mistake, tell me when I call you. I mean, I do feel a little silly when you have to tell me, but it's good for me to know. And it also helps me to get in my head to slow down a little bit because sometimes I go fast on these videos and um, I can make mistakes too, even though I know my multiplication facts, right? And so you guys do the same thing. So don't feel bad when we make a mistake, but just... I try to learn from it, you guys try to learn from it too. Okay, here is your challenge. Are you ready? Okay, all of those terms you see on the bottom 
were all of these flashcards that I just did with you guys, okay? So I'm gonna set the timer for one minute. Well, it's kind of imaginary here, but you can pause the video. Try these and then I'll give you the answers, but I want you to try that by yourself first, okay? So everyone, go slow, do your best, push pause, see what you get. I'm challenging you. Okay, on your marks, get set, go. If you're not done, push pause. If you're done, here we go. All right. How many years in a century? Who put a hundred? Give yourself a star if you got that. How many decades in a century? Ooh, this was a hard one. This wasn't a flashcard. I should have get. I should have given you this hint. There's two that weren't flashcards. Let me come back to those. So this one's not a flashcard. And. What was the other one that was? Oh, this one, this big one. This one's not a flashcard. So if you got C and F wrong, we'll come back to those. Let's do the other ones. Okay, how many years in a decade? 10. How many minutes in an hour? 60. How many days in a year? 365. How many weeks in a year? About, remember, 52. Who's getting these all right? Okay. How many quarts in a peck? Eight quarts. How many pecks in a bushel? Four. How many quarts in a gallon? I'm skipping that, that one. I'm skipping F, I'm going to H. How many quarts in a gallon? Four. How many pints in a quart? Two. How many inches in a foot? 12. Who got all those right? Okay, give yourself a pat on the back. Give yourself a round of applause. If you didn't, it's okay. But maybe go back and watch that beginning of the video to practice these. Okay, these are all things we're trying to memorize. Okay, let's go to those tricky ones. So it said, on C, how many decades are in a year? Well, first we have to think of what is a decade. A decade is 10 years. So how many tens in 100? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. How many tens in 100? 10. So if you put 10 there, you got it right. And then the next one said, how many quarts are in a bushel? But kind of to think first, how many quarts are in a peck? Okay, there were eight quarts in a peck. Okay, so eight's in my head. How many pecks are in a bushel? Four. So it's eight fours. What would eight fours be? Eight, 16, 24, 32. That was a hard one. If you got this one right, oh my goodness, give yourself. A really big round of applause because that was a tricky one. Those two were tricky. Okay. All right. Let's go to the back side. And we are going to do, um, I actually want to do all of these fraction ones together uh, to practice because I want to make sure that we're all getting this well. Tomorrow we're taking another little quiz in math. And so um, I want us to get all the practice we can get, okay? So push pause, this would be perfect time to push pause. Otherwise, stay with me if you need the help and we're gonna do it together. Okay, here we go. So do my bottom numbers match? Well, two of them match, two of them are fives, but one of them's a three. So we got to um, make these match. So what will I get if I let's count dude by five and three? 15. Okay, so let's turn them all into 15s. Five times three is 15. One times three is three. Three times five is 15. One times five is five. Five times three is 15. Two times three is six. So see, I'm, mul I'm multiplying in my head there. If you need to write it out, you can. So if you said, Ms. Roach, what you're going too fast, this is what I did. Five times three is 15. Whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. Two times three is six, okay? So if you need to do that math, you can. All right, now we're gonna add this up. What is six plus five plus three? Six plus five is 11. 11 plus three is 
14. So I've got my fraction. Don't forget to do your whole number. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 plus 6 is 16. I'm noticing. Oh, sorry. I was on the wrong page here. Okay. 16 and 14 fifteenths. Oops. Sorry, friends. Did you get that right? Okay. If you went ahead, good job. All right. You might say, okay, now is Roach. I'm ready to go ahead. Push pause now if you think you can. All right. So do my bottom numbers match? No. What will I get if I count by two, three, and four? Four, eight, 12. Ooh, 12 will work because I can count by two to get 12. I can count by three to get 12. And I, count, I can count by four to get 12. Okay, I'm going to start with the top fraction. Two times what makes 12? Six. One times six is six. Middle fraction. Three times four makes 12. Two times four is eight. Bottom fraction. Four times three is 12. One times three is three. Okay, let's add these up. What is six plus eight? 14. What is 14 plus three? 17. So I've got 17 twelfths. Uh-oh. That is an improper fraction. I can't have a 17 on a 12, right? So I know I'm going to have to throw um, that 12 in the division house. Oh, not the 12. What am I going to throw, guys? The 17. He's the one that's too big. Okay, so let's go ahead and um, divide that up first, and then we'll add to our whole number. So 12 can go into 17 one time. 7 minus 2 is 5, so I have 1 and 5 sevenths, right, guys? If my little thing is in the way, you can move it. I know I can move mine around. So if I block where I'm writing, you can move my little face around, I'm pretty sure. Try it and see if you can. Okay. Um, 1 and 5 seventh. All right, but now I need to add that. Oh, see, Miss Roach is making all kinds of mistakes today. Not one and five sevenths, one and five twelfths, because right here is a 12, right? Okay, slow down, Miss Roach. Okay, <laughs> let's add that with our whole number over here. So what's nine plus six plus eight? Nine plus six plus eight is, well, nine plus six is 15. 15 plus eight is 23, so I'm gonna carry my two. Two plus one is three. So I've got 33. Remember Mrs. Evans' trick? It's like a smiley face and we have to add them up. What would be 33 plus one and five twelfths? 34 and five twelfths. Ooh, that was a tricky one. If you got that right, give yourself a pat on the back. Okay. All right, let's go down to our subtraction ones. And let's do a few of those together because that's also going to be on our quiz tomorrow. Okay. All right. So let's look at the last, well, let's look at the last three. Here we go. So can I take six sevenths from nothing? No. So I'm going to cross out my eight, make it a seven, and this will become seven sevenths. And now I can subtract. What's seven sevenths minus six sevenths? One seventh. And then I just bring my seven down. So seven and one sevenths. That one wasn't too tricky. Let's do the next one. I cannot do this because my bottom numbers don't match. Let's turn them into 15s and see what we get. So five times three is 15. So two times three is six. Three times three, three times five is 15. So one times five is five. Okay. So let's go ahead and minus these. What's 6 fifteenths minus 5 fifteenths? 1 fifteenth. Good job. And 4 minus 3 is 1. So we got 1 and 1 fifteenth. All right, let's try D. Let's see if there's any borrowing on this one. All right, my bottom numbers don't match. What can I get if I count by 9 and 6? 9, 18, 6, 12, 18. Let's turn them into 18s. So six times three is 18. 
So five times three is 15. Nine times two is 18, so two times two is four. Ooh, yay, it's a borrowing one. I can't take 15 eighteenths from four eighteenths, right guys? So let's cross out our 17, make it a 16. And then what do I give to my four eighteenths? That's right, 18 eighteenths. Okay, so here we go. What's 18, 18 plus four? 22 over 18. I'm gonna minus my 15 eighteenths. Let's see what we get. What's 22 minus 15? It's seven, seven eighteenths. And then I can just subtract over here. What's 16 minus 12? Four. This cannot be reduced. So four and seventeenths is my final answer there. Hopefully you're able to do some of those by yourself. Okay, I need you to pick two from this section. Okay, any two that you want. So circle them now, which ones are you gonna do? And then we'll check it later. You're not having to do many by yourself today, so I, the ones I circle, I want you to do. Okay, all right, so let's look at this one. Estimate the money to the nearest dollar. So, well, this will be easy, $15, right? What does three quarters make? 75 cents, so we've got $15 and 75 cents. What would be the nearest dollar? Well. I'm gonna underline my dollars and circle my first cent. Is seven five or more or four or less? Seven is five or more. What do we say when we round? Five or more, up the score. So seven is gonna tell the 15 to go up to a 16. So $16 would be this one. All right, let's try the next one. Okay, let's look at our money first, the dollars, 20 plus, 10 is $10, 10 plus five, oops, what did I do? Sorry, friends, there we go, <laughs> okay. 20 plus 10 is 30, 30 plus five is 35, so I got my $35. Let's count up our change. This is my quarter, 25. Do you guys know what this is, this little guy? He's a 10, so what's 25 plus 10? 35, and then what's this guy over here? He's a five, what's 35 plus five? 40, and then we gotta count our change, 41, 42. So I've got $35.42, let's round it. So I'm gonna underline my dollar, circle my four. Is the four, four or less, or five or more? Four or less, don't mess. So we don't change the 35, we keep it the same. So my answer here is $35. Okay, friends, so you are working on, right now, multiplying two of those and doing these three, I, J, and K, okay? So I, J, and K on the front, and then these four multiplying on the, on the back, okay? So pause your video, finish your math, um, and then start your, your um, actually there's no language video today on Wednesday, so that's good. So all you have to do, let me take this off of the share. All you have to do today, guys, is do those math problems and then be ready for your Zoom uh, reading group. Uh, so, and I'll see you either at your designated time. All right, guys, the, the, the three different reading groups. Okay, well, have a great rest of your Wednesday and I will see you at reading group if I haven't already seen you. Okay, bye guys.